At Sprinkles, it's not just about the desserts. It's about the whole experience, from the beautiful environment of our stores to our smiling staff and those fresh and delicious desserts. We want it to be a memorable and fun experience every time. Barbara Streisand recently gave me... I was sitting at home minding my own business. And a, uh, uh, the, the, the mailman came, and he had a box of these cupcakes. A little bakery in Beverly Hills called Sprinkles. All the celebs know about them, and lots of people in L.A. Wait until you taste these. Celebs like Katie, Tom, Courtney, even the governator are hooked on them. So what is their sweet little secret indulgence? Okay, so there's a place um, on Little Santa Monica called Sprinkles. My mouth is already salivating. Lucy Liu's fave is vanilla. Arnold opts for an array. While Courtney Cox's little Coco was just happy to get a sprinkle for her first big birthday. Yes, I was actually thinking of Sprinkles cupcakes for that shot right there. I, I was say, thinking, oh, when I'm done, I can have a sprinkle. I can, I can eat after this. <laughs> Sprinkles vegan cupcakes for everyone to celebrate the 50th these are red velvet and they are delicious. Cupcake obsessed while dressed in her festive best. Oh my gosh, why is it so good? Do you guys have milk? She embarked on her signing frenzy, but before we left, a token of our appreciation, oh cupcakes gosh. from her favorite L.A. bakery. Oh, red velvet, red velvet, that's my favorite, red velvet. <laughs> have you ever had cupcakes sprinkles cupcakes? cupcakes? No. Oh my God. Oh, I think we need that. to toast. Cupcakes. Yes, I am so excited. I want I one. It. Can I have one? Oh. oh, that's my kind of girl. Just gets right in there. I'm so excited. Thank you. This is Valentine's Day. Are you mm -hmm. a romantic type? Uh? Yes, I am, Jay. Really? Really? The thing that really drove it home was the half a dozen sprinkles in a box. Oh, the, the cupcakes. The cupcakes. Yeah. What sort of candy do you give out? I'm caramel apples. Caramel apples? This wow. This year I actually gave out sprinkles cupcakes. You did? Yes. Sprinkles cupcakes are this Los Angeles phenomenon. Everyone raves about how good they are, and I thought it might be kind of fun for their anniversary to surprise them and have Sprinkles cupcakes. You cannot go in there, Mr. Gold. How is the president of production in town? Ari, get out. Rock Cristal and Sprinkles cupcakes, your favorite. I've got cupcakes. Do you think that you have red velvet in there? Yeah. Sure. You would poison your cupcakes that you pretend not to eat every day. A cupcake uh, craving in the middle of the night used to mean you had to wait until the next day, but guess what? Not anymore. The celebrity cupcake craze, Los Angeles. Katie, Oprah, Tyra, Blake, and the entire Cruise family, big fans of Sprinkles Cupcakes, launching, get this, a cupcake ATM in Beverly Hills. Cupcake ATM. Truly? Did you say cupcake ATM? I read about it. In Los Angeles, there is a pink ATM, and it dispenses all kinds of cupcakes 24 hours a day. Look, it's a cupcake from the new state-of-the-art cupcake ATM machine. Sprinkles Cupcakes plans to put them everywhere. Soon, everyone will be able to just push a button, day or night, and get the cupcake. It's a vending machine that will sell you a fresh-baked Sprinkles cupcake 24 hours a day. Mmm, yummy. Well, thank God the needless suffering and starvation of people in Beverly Hills will finally come to an end. I, this is a great day right over there in Beverly Hills. Uh, you can probably see it just out the window there, Beverly Hills. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Today they came, uh, became home to the world's first cupcake ATM. They have an ATM that dispenses both cash and cupcakes. Here in New York City, there is an ATM machine. You can go to the ATM machine 24 hours a day, yes. and guess what you get, Paul? I don't know. You get your choice of cupcakes or uh, cookies. Oh, really? And the number one thing overheard in line for the cupcake ATM, wait your turn, Governor Christie. There's a cupcake craze going on, and here is our, our wonderful Candace Nelson, who is the uh, originator of all of these cupcakes. They all want to see what this tastes like. Candace, thank you very, very much. Thank you so much for having um, me. And I know what I'm having for dessert tonight. 
a special cupcake from Sprinkles. Overseeing this war are our judges. Candace Nelson, founder of the world's first cupcake bakery, Sprinkles Cupcake. You know, when you were describing your cupcake, there were so many flavors that you tackled in this one little cupcake that I was worried it was gonna be sort of overstimulating. And it wasn't, actually. I think you chose your flavors very well, that they all blended quite beautifully together. If you could tone down the frosting and the sweetness, this cupcake would be ready for the Royal Court. And bringing in that sour cream to your frosting was a brilliant idea, and that was just the right touch. A very challenging, pairing of ingredients, but I think you mastered it. Yep. Little known fact about me is that I grew up actually in Southeast Asia, and so one of my mom's specialties was Southeast Asian cuisine. So when I heard that one of my favorite chefs was opening up a Southeast Asian restaurant, I thought, at last. I had my fair share of saltwater taffy, you know, in small New England towns during the summer, but taffy isn't normally my go-to dessert. When I'm in New Orleans, however, it is. See, as we begin Love Week on Access Hollywood Live with oh. Sprinkles owner Candace Nelson, who was here with some Valentine decorating tips. Good to see you. Any crazy requests coming up for Valentine's Day? You know what? On Valentine's Day, it's our busiest day of the year, and there's actually a black market that happens on Valentine's Day because the line is so long that people will stand out and offer to pay extra money for the people who have their cupcakes. Here's the thing, everyone carves pumpkins for Halloween, but I say decorate with the Halloween candy that you have coming out of, you know, your ears. Recycle, reuse that Halloween candy. It's easy to do, you can do it with your kids. I have a few ideas right here that I am actually gonna challenge you okay. to, to do here. So we've got our little Halloween spiders, cool. our eyeballs, and our tombstones. Tonight, sweet dreams. Ever want to leave it all behind and make cupcakes for a living? One high-powered couple gave up their six-figure salaries for sprinkles. It's just after 12 o'clock on a sunny day in Los Angeles, and already fans are lining up. I've been here two hours. And the cameras are coming out too. But these people aren't waiting for a glimpse of Tom Cruise. They've lined up for something much sweeter, cupcakes. What is it about these cupcakes? The best cupcakes I've ever had. Yeah, they're magical. <laughs> Something about the sprinkles. This is Sprinkles, a tiny sliver of a shop in the heart of Beverly Hills that is bursting at the seams. And this is Candace Nelson, the culinary maestro behind the runaway success of Sprinkles. Candace and her husband, Charles, took a risk in April 2005 and opened Sprinkles. And the owners aren't content with simply having a successful cupcake shop. You know, our goal is, is not to have a one or two or three year fad, but to have, you know, we have a 20 year plan where we want to be a great American brand. Candace and Charles are in the process of building what they hope will be a Sprinkles empire. And they're doing it one cupcake at a time.